Kimray Energy Exchange glycol pump is the heart of any natural gas dehydration system. In this video, I'm going to show you three troubleshooting tips if your pump is acting squirrely. Hi, I'm Will with Kimray, where we help energy producers solve their biggest control challenges. Let's talk about three common questions we receive about the glycol pump. The first is, why do glycol pumps lose prime? A pump has two sides, suction and discharge. When it's primed, it will be full of liquid and will achieve the correct pressures upstream and downstream. When your suction side doesn't have access to fluid, it's just trying to pump air. This means that you've lost prime. If debris has gotten into the darts or the suction line of the pump, it can cause a blockage, not allowing enough liquid to get into the pump. Your first step to address this is to remove the darts to check them for debris. If there is debris, take brake cleaner to clean them. While this may get your pump working, you need to address the root cause so it doesn't happen again. To do this, we recommend upgrading your filtration. See our other video on glycol filtration to learn more about this. Another reason may be gelled glycol. In colder climates, glycol can gel inside the contact tower, which will prevent it from coming back to the pump. There are different places in the DHI system where you can take glycol samples to see if it is gelled. It would be a thick, viscous consistency. If this is the case, you may need to increase the temperature in the contact tower through heat exchange. You want the glycol to be no more than 20 degrees Fahrenheit higher than your gas temperature. A second question is, why is my pump stalled? If your pump is stalled, the first thing to check is if the line on the low suction side is clogged from salt or other buildup. There should be a filter between the surge tank and the pump that may also get clogged. When there is a blockage, you can't get glycol to the low suction side of the pump, which will cause it to stall. A third common question we receive is how can I properly adjust the pump for flow rate? Needle valves, also called speed control valves, regulate the flow of wet glycol and gas to the power cylinders. They're used to adjust the flow rate in your system. Turning them clockwise will decrease the flow. Turning them counterclockwise will increase flow. Start small, a half a turn in either direction. Then count your strokes per minute based on your size pump to know what your flow rate should be. You can find this chart on the technical specifications for the glycol pump at kimray.com. The most important thing to remember is to adjust your needle valves evenly. If you adjust one half a turn clockwise, you'll need to do the same on the other to prevent imbalances. Check out our playlist for more videos on glycol pumps and natural gas dehydration, including how they work, production tips, and repairs. Contact our product applications team with any questions.